This module allowed us to expand our options for modeling relationships between dimensions and fact tables. With regard to reference relationships, we learned that we can create a link between a dimension and a fact table even if the fact table does not have a foreign key column for that dimension as long as an intermediate dimension exists and that dimension has a foreign key column for the dimension to reference. In addition, we learned we must include an attribute from the reference dimension in the intermediate dimension's design. We then define the reference relationship in the cube's dimension usage based on the attribute in common between the reference dimension and the intermediate dimension. When we do this, we have to decide whether to materialize the relationship between the reference dimension and the measure group or not. If we do materialize it, then queries run faster, but we have to process the cube whenever reference data changes. The second technique we learned was how to handle many-to-many -many relationships. This data scenario requires us to create a bridge table to link to a dimension having a relationship with a fact table and the many-to-many -many dimension that we want to associate with that fact table. The first dimension can be a regular dimension or it might be a degenerate dimension that's built into the fact table. Either way, we need to create a dimension in the analysis services database and add a measure group for the bridge table and then link all these tables together in the cube's dimension usage. Many-to-many -many relationships can slow down queries and cube processing, so they should be used with care. Here are some resources you might find helpful. Some of these resources might refer to earlier versions of Analysis Services, but they're applicable to Analysis Services 2008, 2008 R2, and 2012 Multidimensional.